How's it going, YouTube? Liam from Lisa Australia here, and welcome back to Let's Play Despicable Me Minion Rush. So, the reason I am playing and recording another episode of this is because this is more of a revisit rather than just a new episode, a brand new episode. Because uh, a while back, I think it would have been nearly a week now since I uh, saw it, um, the very first episode of Despicable Me Minion Rush, and I'll probably show you a little clip around here somewhere. It has passed a thousand views throughout its time I've uploaded. So yeah, it has been quite some time since I've uploaded the first episode, probably about past five years and a couple of months now. So I thought to do something special. I revisit this game, do a couple of runs, and see how far I can go. Now keep this in mind, Things have definitely changed over the course of this game being on uh, the Windows Store. This was back in Windows 8.1 when this game was out. And there have been a lot of updates that have changed the base version of the game. So it's not much of an endless runner now, as it's more of an objective base. As you can see, Sly under three obstacles. But you can avoid these objectives and continue making it as an endless runner. So I guess the endless portion of it is still there. But... When it comes to some of these uh, objectives, maybe it might get a bit tougher over time. It's not much of it as just a complete endless runner as everyone knows and loves since the very beginning. But that's alright. We'll have fun with what we can get out of it. Oh man. It does feel good to get back into playing this game again actually because it is a lot of fun. Um... Because this, along with a few other games, let's see if I can try and remember. So, Despicable Me Minion Rush. What else have we got? Um, another game that I did record that was on the Windows Store before uh, was a game called uh, Gunstring A Dead Man Running. Um, and that was pretty fun. So, that game was, of course, based off of. Um, uh, the Xbox Connect game of Gunstringer. And as you can see, so I've completed that level. Which means I have more strawberries. And this was part of the uh, jelly update, if I'm not mistaken. But, so, Despicable Me Minion Rush, Gunstringer Dead Men Running, uh, Jetpack Joyride, um, and another one which was Temple Run and Temple Run 2. And then there was another one which I played more of out of all those games, which was Subway Surfers, if I'm not mistaken. But, let's move on to the next one. So, the next job is to collect 100 bananas. So, yeah. So, I played a few Endless Runners. I guess you could say... Oh, nah. My own run's not much of an Endless Runner. That would be pretty cool, though. To have, like, an Endless Runner... Like, Endless Run mode on Super Mario Run. That would have been cool. So, we shall collect these bananas. And we finish off with the vacuum, even though it was going to be a short, short use. Now, while I do enjoy these little objective-based type of modes... Uh, oh, here we go. So, this is the boss... Boss level, okay. Because I know that in the previous versions with the endless run, the boss levels, uh, usually the bosses will just appear randomly. So, um, I guess we'll see where this goes. Now, I honestly don't know if there is an actual, like, if they still kept it like an endless, like proper endless mode without any objectives, I honestly do not know. But like I said, like, you probably wouldn't have to worry about, um, uh, doing the, the objectives. You can go proper endless mode if you wanted to. Oh, here we go. That's me. Oh, hang on. I 
I don't even know what I'm meant to be doing here. Oh. I guess I just have to dodge him, maybe? I don't know. Alright, so I have to beat him two more times. Okay. Alright, here we go. Round two. <laughs> I just pretty much have to dodge them. I know that there is a... I think there was... Like, buttons you have to press. That fires them back at Vector. Or Victor. Or whatever the name is. But, um... I don't know what it is on keyboard and mouse. And I've just passed my score. Yay! Oh, near miss. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, here we go. There he is. That's me. Not so fast. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> uh. All right, I need to check something out before we before we play another one. Oh. Sounds like an achievement. Okay, so now that I have all of the jellies... And that's a multiplier boost. Yay! Alright. Let's unlock the next level. Ah, right, so that's the uh, jelly portion of the stuff. Alright. Freeze ray, unlock for 650 bananas, of course. Alright, smash two frozen objects. Okay. So let us get the freeze gun. <laughs> so that was a pretty short level. But I guess the idea is just uh, teaching you how all the all the items work. I'm guessing. Ah, so this is their um, island level. Okay. <laughs> Man, I think I need to play more of this on my. When I'm, when I'm not recording from time to time. When I just want to take a break from all the big games out there, I could just open this up and just mess around. Oh! Whoops! <laughs> I don't even know what I hit. I think I must have um, pressed down too quickly um, between the gap. Oh well. I actually used to remember, like, in one of the previous, um, up, uh, previous versions, uh, when it comes to transitioning the levels, I think it was either, you, you get to choose, like, which, uh, level or location you want to go to next, and it will transition for you. I'm not sure why they removed that, that was actually pretty cool. Alright, I haven't encountered a freeze gun yet. Which is right there. So we hit four items with a freeze gun. Alrighty, water slide time. Alrighty, here we 
Here we go. Woohoo! Oh, water slide again. Another achievement. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> uh, that was a good run. That took a while and got me a lot of bananas, so... I am happy with that. It was good to actually play big Mini Rush again, because it has been quite some time uh, that I actually played this. I did try to record Minion Rush on my laptop before previously, but the game was not liking my laptop as much, so that's a bit unfortunate, but that is perfectly fine. But... For what this is, for what Menu Rush is, it is a good endless runner game. There's no doubt about it. And even though that they've added objective-based um, modes, uh, uh, challenges, I guess, as you say, um, into the game, you do miss the endless part about it, but I guess you can have some fun with these objective tasks either way. But that's all I'm going to say for now, and that's all the time I have for this episode. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. If you want to see me play Menu Rush again... And you want to see more of this? Let me know in the comments below. If there are any other games, especially on the Windows Store, that you want me to try out and check out, then say your suggestions in the comments. I'll see if I can search it up. I might even uh, record some stuff on my phone as well, because I know I can do that. So, thank you very much, guys, again for watching. This has been Let's Play Despicable Me Minion Rush. If you liked the video, click the like button, click the subscribe button for more videos anyway. Until next time, I'm Liam from Least Australia. Liam out!